is pretty cool, right? So this new invisible drone form in Star 360 allows you to capture some very interesting FPV light video without knowing how to fly an FPV. Nope. I will teach you how to create that video you just watched step by step with or without the install to see sphere. This unbiased review video will go beyond what you already know of the install to see sphere. Compare it with my Mavic 3 and install to see one X2 professional setup and the beta FPV Pebble to see one R drone to tell you 10 things you have not heard on the internet. So don't buy the install to see sphere just yet until you watch this video all the way through. Let's go. So now CJ's turn off. What did you just turn off? Uh, we just turned off the safety features. Nani? Yes, it's extremely risky. So many internet samples of the Insta 260 Sphere from other reviewers look like it is coming out from a potato encoder. You see, this video is in 4K 60 frames per second. So the Sphere can actually capture pretty decent quality video as long as you don't use your phone to edit and follow my other 360 editing tutorial on this channel. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here back for another 360 drone video. Unlike other review videos, I want to focus on the usage of Sphere in a professional manner, which means using it to capture fully immersive 360 video on YouTube VR and Meta Quest 2 VR headset right here. Like this video of mine, which has now 351,000 views, or this one catching up in 117,000 views. Oh yeah! If you are a long time follower of this channel, you know I have been flying and designing VR drones even before Insta360. Look at this serious flying machine right here I just flew. It is 2X Insta360 Pro 2 with a center pole gimbal system to achieve stable 8K 3D 360 video on air. Check out the build right here. Mine works on 2X GoPro Max right here inspire Insta360 to design this original invisible drone on the Mavic 1 and Mavic 2. After almost two full years of continued engineering by the good folks in Insta360, they surprised us with a newer version, the Insta360 Sphere right here. So does the Sphere solve all the old problems? If you don't have time to watch my original review of the Insta360 Invisible Drone, here is a summary of all the old problems. First, lack of GPS make it impossible to fly safely. Second, huge stitch line make it impossible to use in 360 video. Third, lack of vibration dampening system which cause rolling shutter shadow effects in the stitch line area. Let's see how the new sphere perform in a real world scenario and compare it to my current in this invisible 3 drone right here, the Insta 3 one x 2 with the Mavic 3 Pro Cine. My current design right here solves all three problems. It has strong GPS from the Mavic 3 Pro and is very safe to fly. It used the Insta360 ONE X2 as you see right here, which has the best stitching. My blue raking right here solved the third problem, vibration dampening to remove the rolling shutter effects. But it is bigger, heavier to fly, and it's not invisible until you apply what you learn from this post-production tutorial. And that's why you are still watching this video right now. To find out is the Insta360 Sphere, which has the same 360 camera component, can replace my current setup. 
which ten things you need to know before pulling the trigger. Number one, it has GPS. It is the most important thing for all of us, not FPV pilot. It flies normally and it hovers, so anybody can fly this thing and get great footage, potentially. Right there, do that. So what I would do is just make sure that uh, if you see, see no GPS fly with caution, but the drone is pretty stable. So we actually have GPS in just something weird about the drone and it will go away. Hopefully it will go away. We're picking some attitude, but it's pretty smooth, pretty stable. See, go away. It went away now. And go as high as possible. We've got 12 GPS. In flight mode, everything. Okay, tell me, CJ, the GPS, is it good? Uh, right now we got no GPS, fly with caution, but the drone is, you know, So the warning message is just probably not really accurate. This actually happens to me several times in low fly, but everything seems to be fine when you gain some altitude. All this means smart power management. So by having the sphere on the drone, you only get 80% of your normal flight time. With searching for GPS, Gain altitude to be stable before you the, before your mission. You probably only have 60 to 70 percent of the normal flight time. So plan accordingly and land your drone when you hit low power warning immediately. Don't ever push it and keep your eyes on the drone at all time. Number two, it still has a huge stitch line. Not as big as the old design, but it is big. Nice. Hold for a second. Hold for song. The park rangers here. Let's hope they don't arrest us. <laughs> uh, you have a fly permit, right? Yeah. So uh, I'm F FA certified, 107 certified, and uh, right now we're in a regional park, so it's not illegal to fly here. Uh, don't go fly in your state park because that's not allowed. Yeah. Good to know, guys. So yeah, so this thing, actually, even with all the attachment on, have 70 minute flight time per battery. So that's one advantage of flying this thing. But obviously you see this, this is really far apart. You see that, and that is very narrow, even with the lens guard on. And also you have a little landing gear on the bottom too, right? Yeah, so once we turn this on, we'll show you this little landing gear will pop out and make a little stick that keeps you from scratching your bottom lens when you land. With the release of One RS, Install Twixy Studio software introduce optical flow stitching. This is key to solve this problem. You will need to review your 360 video inside the new Studio Desktop app, find the area of footage you want to use, and hit Calibrate as you see right here. As long as you have optical flow and install 360 sphere turned on, the app usually get really good calibration result. You are basically telling the app where to focus the stitching. For most of the time, for drone shot, it is a far distance. But if you are doing the FPV deep dive like what I just did right here, you might need to calibrate based on a close object to get a perfect stitch. You cannot do this in your phone app or Snap Wizard, whatever that they use. That's why I suggest for getting your phone completely. Go straight to your computer for editing and post-production. And that's what the pro do anyway. Also, throw away your lens guard immediately. If you see all the weird general effects, general artifacts, we mean the lens guard will solve that. It is an easy problem to fix. If you crash your drone, your plastic little lens guard will not protect your camera at all. So why sacrifice image quality for a pseudo peace of mind? Number three, learn hand takeoff and hand landing. Install to sphere come with this yellow landing pad right here as you see. 
It is extremely useful. It is a great training wheel when you first get this junk. But your GB has returned to home signal, might be off a little bit, and land not on the pad. Boom! Which will you scratch your lens like that. Move it. Jump it twice. <laughs> Why you do it twice? I don't know. Therefore, sure, safe way is to hand catch your jump. Number four, wait. Don't let the look fool you. This thing is not light. A fully loaded Insta360 Sphere with battery and SD card is 199 grand. My current 1X2 setup is 249 grand. It is 50 grand heavier, but Sphere used DJI Mavic Air 2S and 1X2 used the latest Mavic 3 Pro, which is a lot more powerful in carrying weight in any extreme flying condition. Yes, the sphere has better aerodynamics, but it hugged the junk tightly. As you see right here, the camera will receive all the machine vibration from the junk body. Why this is bad, you ask? Take a look at the original camera gimbal right here. You see, the camera is loosely attached to the junk body with a damper. DJI knows the drone body is going to shape like crazy and purposefully get the camera away from it. And this comes to the next thing we need to discuss. Number five, vibration and stabilization. In terms of stabilization, the sphere is great thanks to install 260 flow stage stabilization, but anti-vibration and rolling shutter no software algorithm can solve that. And this is the place where Insta360 Sphere is still weak at. Take a look at when the Air 2S is hovering and slowly, slowly going up and down. The horizon line is clearly wobbling. Is that bad? No, not really. As you see here, when you pick up good and consistent speed, the wobble is gone and the entire 360 video is super stable. So, in order to capture great invisible drone 360 video, you need to really learn how to fly your drone in a certain way to combat machine vibration. Stationary and slow up and rise movement require the motor to work harder, which cause lots of unwanted shaking on the camera. So remember, sphere only look good when you fly in a straight line in decent speed and let momentum to do most of the work in flying for you. Use wind as your best friend instead of fighting against it. The less work your drone motor need to do, the longer the fly time you can get and the more stable footage you get. It's that simple. Number six. Noise. Noise, I don't mean camera noise, I mean the noise generated from the propeller is a real concern in a drone business. Your Air 2S is louder than usual as you hear right here. Number seven, Skyplay for 260 photo and video. This is a really good thing and something that no one seems to talk about it on the internet. I take lots of 360 panel for virtual tour business. If you follow my Facebook page here, 260 Creator, you see my 260 photos got thousands of likes and hundreds of shares. The challenge of taking such an immersive 360 panel with DJI drone right here is missing the natural sky plane as the drone camera cannot really look up. 
Now you can set up your sphere to take a one second interval to 60 photo in 6K DNG RAW. Then you can just take your normal sphere panel using your Air 2S 1 inch sensor. In post, you can replace the missing sky from one of the 6K DNG RAW from your install 60 sphere. You can also use this technique to pass some of your stitching air as well. Some people actually buy 360 sky play videos to cover their drone capture with my current setup right here or with the free fry system Auto X with the Instar 260 Titan setup right here. This is from Boston Arrow Above Summit, the best Arrow to see John company on the East Coast. Professional company like this also searching to buy video Skyplay to remove their drone. The Instar Sphere right here is a great option to capture those and make some money back really fast. You don't need high resolution or stereo 3D 360 for the sky. Just any cool sky with an exciting cloud pattern that will be good. I try to get extra value in all my video. If that helped you, don't forget to give this video a like, a thank you comment down below, and share it on your social media. Number eight, know your other option. Is the Insta360 Sphere the only invisible 360 drone out there? Well, it is certainly the most advertised, but not the only option. To someone, especially FPV pilots, this is not even the best option. The best option for anyone who can fly in FPV is the Pebble 260 by Beta FPV. What? Do it again. Do it again. That's the most amazing thing ever. Okay. It has a modified install to see one art, the exact same camera system in the install to see sphere. TJ, tell us what is this? Yeah, so this is the uh, Beta FPV Pavo 360. This is a uh, FPV drone, and inside you have an Insta 360 SMO camera specifically designed for FPV drones. This drone will hold a battery on either side and will uh, fly for about five to six minutes and you have full control so you can do flips, you can do dives, you can do anything you want and you don't have GPS and uh, it's a little more difficult to fly than a typical consumer DJI drone. Um, nice. So, so what's the flying time with this thing? Yeah, so again, once you take off you got about five to seven minutes depending on your batteries and how, how healthy they are. Um, and you you gotta bring it back and land it before the batteries run out because if the batteries run out there's no beeping warning like on a DJI drone it just uh, starts to run out of battery and fall out of the sky. Oh wow! Uh, I'm flying the DJI digital FPV system so it's digital signal really clear image in the goggles and then I have a Tango 2 Pro controller for flight control. In other option are double 360 camera setup with Mavic 3 right here. But just one camera at the bottom is usually good enough for 90% of the filming situation. The last option is the super long selfie pole. All right,
Well, Hugh looks like an idiot, by the way, carrying that long stick. Pull. Stick pull. Number nine. Battle. In Star to see Sphere use the exact same battery as the old in Star to see One X. If you have an old One X, then you get yourself an extra battery. If not, those are a lot easier to come by this day on eBay. This is a fully functional 360 camera, and you can just take it off. And if you film without the drone, so all you need to do is go ahead and 3D print, you know, something, and put it right here. And bam, you get yourself a 360 camera for free. I'm not for free, I mean, uh, for the price you pay. And to me, it's a pretty good deal. Look at that. You can even put it in your hand to become your hand digital 360 camera. Number 10, Wi-Fi and remote control. The short answer is there's none. Using the phone app to control and record the camera might cause a recording to stop when you lose Wi-Fi. Not to mention, it might cause interference with your drone connection. I would recommend set the camera to like auto minus 0 0.5 EV if it is a sunny day. Then kill the app on your phone and turn off your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Hit recording first, like right here. Wait, where's the button right here? Like hit recording right here to make sure the red line is blinking. Then turn your drone on, connect and fly. Other thing is take the lens cap off. I gotta hand launch it. So take the lens cap on and always bring a pocket with you so you can put your lens cap in it through the drone to protect it. Uh, so now I gotta turn on, actually we gotta turn on the sphere first and roll recording. Before I'm doing that, I need to wipe the lens. Make sure it's clean. Fully charged, so it hold probably three seconds to turn it on. So the light should turn blue and it turn on immediately. Keep them light for 30 seconds. Let the camera fully turn into like a turquoise color. You can't see it on the camera, but it's fine. And also before we fly, we want to check here. You don't see yellow. If you see yellow, meaning this is not fully locked. But now I don't see yellow, meaning this is fully locked. It's tied to the body. It's connected together with the drone. So it's safe. And you see, I have no uh, the lens guard on because I want the best image quality. So that's why. And then, before you turn the drone on, I actually gotta roll this camera first. So go ahead and hit the red button right here, hit recall. And make sure they start recording now. Yes, blinking red, this start recording. Now I turn the drone on. The reason why we do that is because I want a GPS, GPS signal to get it. And, and, and the only way to really like know I get it is when everything is it's the same state when it actually on the air. So this is on, let me see, I connect to it, I connect to my uh, Mavic Air 2S. Hmm. Let me repair it. Okay, so now I actually pair my uh, drone to the controller. Uh, it should not be like that because I paired them already. I don't know why I pair it again. So I gotta pair it again. I'm also flying in Cinemo, you see T, Cinemo and open DJI Fly app. Hey, go fly. Okay, these are the 10 things you need to know before purchasing the Insta360 Sphere. I try not to repeat other influencer to tell you things that you know already. That is all based on my personal experience with the Sphere and other invisible drone I flow in my career before the fears. Regarding the spec of this thing, they are exactly the same as the new Instar 261RS 260 mod. My next video will show the Instar 260 Sphere in full 5.7K 360 video and compare it to my Mavic 3 One X2 setup right here and also the Beta FPV Pebble 360 right here. <laughs> and the result will tell you visually if the Sphere is a good for 360 video or only good for gimmicky over capture with frame 2D videos like what you see right here. But if you want to learn how I create this perfect loop, 
with the Insta Whiskey Sphere and how Insta Whiskey create their Insta Whiskey Sphere launch commercial like right here. I will teach you all that as well in my next tutorial with Adobe Premiere and DaVinci Resolve 18. So don't forget to subscribe to this awesome YouTube channel and hit the notification bell if you have not already. Give this video a big thumb up. It really, really help us to continue create content for free for you. And also, if you can, share it on your social media to your friends. Drop your boy a thank you comment down below and I will see you in virtual reality. Bye.